Well, uh, opposition House Leader has a question. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I do have a question for my colleague, the Government House Leader, in anticipation of the business this week and the business of the week that's forthcoming after the break week, the constituency week when we're back in our constituency offices. If I could, Mr. Speaker, I'd like, to like him to address at the same time a few elements in that answer, if he could. Uh, in the spirit of the motion for question period reform and decorum, which was passed last night, put forward by the member for Wellington, Halton Hills, I wonder if the House Leader can help us understand uh, two elements as we go forward in terms of the business we're pursuing. Number one, will the minister continue to be asking, uh, answering the preponderance of questions put to the government going forward during question period? And number two, will he actually work with other parties in the House to get a number of his caucus colleagues under control with respect to decorum. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I appreciate uh, the questions from uh, my friend for uh, uh, Ottawa South. I do have to admit, from time to time, I am called upon to respond to certain questions that are uh, asked uh, by the opposition. And uh, uh, it's uh, not, as, not as many as I used to uh, ask, thanks to the appointment of the new Minister of Transport, Infrastructure and uh, Communities, who I think is doing a, uh, a fine job. Uh, I do on the issue, on, on the, he's got a, quite a challenge, I'll tell you, Mr. Speaker. The Minister of Transport, the new Minister of Transport, uh, has a big challenge to, um, uh, to uh, tidy up uh, the department. Uh, only, only, uh, only, the only minister who's got a bigger challenge to deal with is, of course, the new Minister of Indian Affairs and Northern Development. But uh, on the issue uh, of uh, decorum, uh, I think there has been uh, some degree of success. Uh, I will uh, congratulate. Uh, the uh, Liberal House Leader, he has uh, perhaps been more successful than I have in reining in uh, the amount uh, of, uh, of uh, interjections uh, during question period, and I undertake uh, to him and to the House to continue to work uh, in that regard. I think there has been a considerable uh, reduction in uh, interventions. Um, uh, sometimes uh, the members of the government or members of the opposition uh, will um, bring out uh, those type of uh, interjections, but I will uh, commit to continuing to work uh, with him and with our colleagues in the Bloc and the NDP on reducing that. Uh, I think we have met with some success. We do have more room to go, but I'll, uh, uh, I'll commit to uh, continuing to work in that regard. In many respects, that was a big part of what the, um, uh, the motion the House adopted last night, saying the name of the member for Wellington, Halton Hills, and I see him uh, smile at me now. Uh, much success, much work has been accomplished, but much work remains to be done in that, uh, in that regard. When government orders resumes after my statement, Mr. Speaker, we will call Bill C-36, product, Consumer Product Safety. We have an agreement to send it to committee after one speaker per party, and I will be moving the appropriate motion in a few minutes. Uh, I should point out that if that we can't come together to try to protect children and keep them safe, uh, we don't have any place here, and I'm very pleased with uh, the consultations between all uh, parties on that. I think they will be welcomed. Uh, particularly by uh, Environmental Defence, who I know has been uh, championing uh, these issues for some time. Following Bill C-36, we will resume the debate, which began this morning on Bill C-47, Sustaining Canada's Economic Recovery. Other bills scheduled for today, if necessary, are Bill S-9, Tackling Auto Theft and Property, and Bill C-39, Ending Early Release for Criminals. Uh, tomorrow, we will continue with the business before us today. Next week, as, as the member noted, is a constituency week. Uh, we will return uh, uh, when we return, we will continue, if necessary, Bill C-47 uh, with the Canada-Panama Free Trade Agreement uh, also on the agenda. Uh, on Thursday, October 24th, it shall be an allotted day, as I have told our friends in the uh, Bloc Québécois. And as I said earlier, with respect to C-36, I believe you will find unanimous consent for the following motion. Que non abstant. That notwithstanding any standing order or usual custom of the House, a member of each political party recognized in this house could speak for a period no longer than 20 minutes at second reading of bill c-36 an act respecting the safety of consumer products and after this bill that this bill be deemed read a second time and referred to the standing committee on health Does the uh, Honourable Government House Leader have the unanimous consent of the House to propose this motion? Is it agreed? La Chambre l'a entendu, peut-être la la Chambre de la... House has heard the terms of the motion. Is it the pleasure of the House to adopt the motion? Agreed. I declare the motion carried.